Hi, um, I'm going to show a little bit about the permissions on the custom view, um, the view permission module. I'm going to pick this mm, module, the price book module, just to uh, show some of the settings that are there and how that works. Okay, this module has currently just one filter, so uh, let's go and check and find that filter. We don't have the module list here, so we'll search for it here. Module list contains price book. Price book, that should be enough. Okay, all price books and all price list. This must be... Okay. Let's see what this one is. Let's open this one and let's open this one. All price list is default setting no and it's on the price list. And this is on the price book. That means that we have in this uh, okay, in this uh, install I probably have a price list module. Anyway, okay, because it is a test environment. This is the one that we're looking for. Uh, we just have one filter and it has one record. And it says here that it's assigned to the administrator, but almost all uh, no, all the roles in the application can also see or uh, are permitted to read this record. And this record says that uh, people cannot, users cannot create, they can retrieve this filter, they can update this filter, and they can delete this filter, and uh, they cannot they cannot approve. Okay, so that means that if I come over here, well now here I'm actually the admin user, so I can do anything I want. Okay, absolutely, this is, uh, the delete is uh, hard-coded out because you can't delete the all filter, but we can create new filters and we can edit new filters. I have uh, here another session uh, with another user and we're going to go to that price books and we're going to see that I have access to the all filter I can create uh, but I can't edit nor delete and that's probably because what is this oops what does this record say this record says that they can retrieve and they can update. Maybe it's because the, it's the all filter. That filter is kind of special. Let's ask here. Uh, on the record, on this record, on each uh, view permission record, we have this test link, which takes us to this page. I'm going to ask for that all price book, all price book for the MDY user on the price book module what permissions he has price books okay and it says that he can create he cannot retrieve update delete or anything because or approved because it's the all filter and that filters are kind of special I've selected the MDY user here because that's the one I have here this is the MDY user uh, that's the one I'm actually testing with so so Okay, yeah, so uh, let's create a new a new filter. I'm going to go back to, okay, this is the price list one. This is useless because that's another module. Get rid of that. Okay, here on the price books, I'm going to create a new filter as the admin user. Uh, this is the MDY test, test filter, um, price book name, currency, yeah, whatever. That really doesn't matter to me at all. The thing is that we are creating this new filter, MDY filter. Okay, that means that here on the view permission module, I should have now probably here at the end, I already am at the end, an MDY test filter for price books. This uh, record, this view permission record, was created automatically when I created the filter. It was assigned to the administrator user because that's the one I would use to create the filter. And it gave all the roles uh, access because basically uh, uh, what we what it does what uh, the application does is that it uh, follows the philosophy of, of sharing filters by default it just tries to share all the filters I can and um, and here we have that retrieve update and delete and anybody can basically do anything they want on that filter but 
Okay, so if I come here and I reload this page, I can see that filter and I can create, edit, and delete. Okay, which is basically what was said there. If I come here and I say, for example, that this default cannot update, then I should see here that the edit record, the edit option has disappeared. Okay, so that means that this record defines what can be done on that filter. By default, it's given to everybody, so these permissions here are given to everybody, but let's set this back and reload this page. So just to see that this is kind of working at some level, okay, so we have that, edit. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, all the records here. So basically empty this and save. So now what this record is saying that is that the MDI test filter is available only for the administrator because there's no roles, only for this assigned user. And only this assigned user can do these three things. Okay, so if I come over here to the MDY again, what happens is that that filter's not here anymore because I took away the permissions to retrieve because it's not, he's not, that, that uh, the roles are not there anymore. So if I duplicate this record, and I assign it to the MDY user, I can say that I want them to retrieve, but I don't want them to update or delete. Now what's happening is that I have two records for the same filter, one for the administrator user and one for the MDY user. They both have different permissions. As you can see here, now I can see the filter again, but I can't edit it nor delete it because his particular record configuration says that he can't. If I activate this one, for example, and I reload here, I should get that delayed option uh, available. So as you can see, the escalation rule is that it tries to find a record in the view permission module uh, assigned to the user or, or to his role or to his group uh, and, and, and the like. The escalation rules are in the wiki. Uh, and if it finds it, it applies the rules that are here, okay? Now, I'm gonna delete this record, which means that now I only have the administrator record, so I don't have access to this filter anymore. Okay, it's gone. And I'm gonna create the other mode. Okay, view permission has a module mode. What we have seen up to now is the filter mode. Each filter has its own set of permissions. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, the, uh, M the MDY or all, it doesn't really matter. It, this, in this configuration you just have to pick one. It's not used at all. So I just I like to pick the all on the module just because it's kind of identi identifies also the module. But it's actually not used. so not really important. This is the important one. I am going to create a record with the default setting. This is the one that's actually important. This default setting is telling the application that this particular record in the view permission module is the default set of permissions for any user that does not have any permissions defined. So for the price put module and all users, I'm going to give them access to the update option. Let's see how that works. Let's save this. Okay, so here I'm saying, this record is saying, since the default setting is set to yes for the price book module, then the module, the filter name, and the user really don't matter at all. What matters now is that if there are no other permissions that in the escalation intervene before this one, which is the last one that is looked for, then these, this re these options will not be applied, but if there isn't any other one, then this one will be applied. Since we don't have any other um, permissions set for this module, for the price book modules, we only have the, the, this one, which is all price books. Wait. All price books. And we have all the permissions again. How's that? What happened there? 
here we got this one, here we got, how did I delete that, no, what happened here? If I'll be okay, wait, let's try to reload here, see what happens, I don't have that record, but if I come here to the view permissions and I say that he can retrieve it, he should be able to retrieve it and update it. default setting price book all price books all price books wait a minute search search modules come on module list contains price so I should could search for books we have price books mdy test filter price book and all price books and this is the default setting okay so let's let's look for books here let's see what happens so, books good so we get rid of that price list which is not relevant here okay so i have a filter for the all price books and it's the default views, it's not the default setting, and everybody can see this one. Then I have, and everybody can see that, and I edit that. No, I, I edit the one on the MDY, okay. The MDY does not have any permissions, only for the administrator user. Ah, okay, so, so this one, this one doesn't intervene, ah, okay. Okay, so this one is just for the create. Okay. That let's try that. MDY view permissions save. Okay, so this one now is the default settings for that permissions. Let's see if that's true. test filter and we have the MDY test filter with the default settings the default settings okay so for these to enter for the retrieve update delay and approve to ha actually happen to be applied you have to fill you have to select the filter okay so basically what I'm saying is okay uh, we have, in this case, I have two MDY test filter records, one for the administrator, saying what the administrator can do, and then I have a default setting for the MDY test filter that, uh, that defines what all the other users can do with that record. Since I set this one to yes, uh, I was able to load it, so if I say no here and I come back here and I load this one again, I should lose that MDY. Yeah. Okay, so, and now if I activate that one again, and we tell him that he cannot update, but he can delete, 
then I should be able to see that he can't recall. I can see it again, and I can ed not edit, but I can delete. Can I approve also? Probably, because this one is not approved. It's not approved. Where is the approved button here? User, create, approve. Approved. Okay, it's not here. Okay. Uh, let's try that. Let's see if he can approve. Okay, anyway, uh, as you can see, the escalation rules do work correctly. And, uh, okay, okay, and basically the filter is important, except for the create option. Notice that in, uh, in all of this, um, all of these options, all of these options here, uh, applied, the retrieve, the update, the delay, all of that applied uh, for um, all of the options, retrieve, update, and delete, except for the create. Create is uh, out of that list because the create uh, actually is not it's not based on the filter. It's based on the module. Okay, either a user can create filters or not on a module. So that's where this default settings comes into play because uh, actually, if I create a record like this where I'm assigning permissions to the administrator or to a given user on a given filter. The create doesn't matter. I mean, the create is already there. He already created it. It, it makes it doesn't matter if you can create or not. Where it matters is on the default settings for a module. So in the default settings for a module, you have to create a record that says, okay, uh, for this module by default, I or yeah, as a default setting for this user, I want to be him to be able to create or not. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this one. Actually, we could create. We could use this one no i'm going to create another one let's duplicate this one and this is the one that i actually wanted to create the first time so i'm going to create the all price book thing all price books okay here i'm selecting that price books because i actually want to mark it as a, a record for the price book and here i'm going to delete all of this stuff and i'm going to put the create also off and i'm going to say that the mdy user which is the one i'm testing with on the other page for the price book module as a default setting cannot do anything he cannot create nor retrieve nor update he can't do anything okay obviously if i come over here and i press f5 again i reload this mdy is exactly the same because i have an mdy record for this module for this filter okay i have a record here let's look for that one have an MDY test filter record here this one MDY test filter ah, this one has the default settings okay for this filter as a default setting I have these so they probably kick in before the other one, which is this one, which is the all, because yeah, because it looks for that filter and that record. Okay, so it looks for this user, this filter as a default setting. And then it looks for any module, any module for the default settings uh, for the create. So he can't create. Okay. Okay, so if I actually come here and say that on this default setting for this module, they can create. Thank you. Oh, come on. He can create again. Okay, yeah, that got a little messy there, but uh, the, the idea is that the module has two ways of defining the permissions that you can use. One is defining for each filter a number of records with the escalations assigned to users or roles or groups or whatever you need, or just one if one fits, which is basically what the application does by default, but you can put as many records here as you want to give access to any filter to any user or groups of users or roles or whatever and then we have that default setting 
uh, yes for which defines the default set of options for either a filter or for a module itself and basically for the create option there are some other uh, tricks and escalations that you can do here but mostly that is the big picture that's the big picture uh, the only other thing that I would like to comment is the uh, possibility here I mean since by default the application tries to uh, share all the filters uh, it kind of just defaults to a, a permissive uh, thing what uh, what we did a few months ago was add here on the create filter option we added this uh, set as private this option can totally be done using the escalation rules uh, that we just saw uh, there was no actual need for this but what this uh, checkbox does is that it circumvites or, or overrides the set of records that you have there and if you set it private it kind of just jumps in and says okay it's private then don't default to sharing with everybody but default to making it private and not sharing with anybody and that avoids having to create all the set of records and the escalations that you may need to to actually make a filter private um, that that's all that's all that that is there okay so um, anyway um, I hope that helps to make uh, it more clear how this uh, this view permission module works thanks for watching <laughs>